Hello. In this video, I'm going to uh, talk about the stereochemistry of the Diels-Alder reaction, this time focusing on the diene. Uh, I'm going to go back to using the uh, simplest dienophile because I don't really want to get the, the stereochemistry of the dienophile involved here. That starts to be a more complicated topic, and I'm going to devote a video to that later. And actually, I have two alkyl al groups here. I just want to have one for a minute uh, because I want to talk about what's what's. Ooh, I want to talk about the implications of what's going on here. So, when our dienophile or when our diene has a substituent, this substituent needs to be at the ends of the chain. Uh, you again generate a, a chirality center, and however, because the You know, because the product or because the reactants are achiral, we get the racemic mixture out of this reaction. Just wanted to, to take a, a brief moment and share that what is different if the uh, our alkyl group is on one of the middle carbons of the diene then it ends up still attached to one of the alkenes. And again, if you're not quite seeing how this works, draw the mechanism and be reminded that no sigma bonds are being broken, only the pi bonds are rearranging. So the same atoms are all, or the same carbon atoms are all in their same relative positions. The methyl group isn't going to change. Things that are on the the left side of my dotted line here are from the diene, and things that are on the right side are from the dienophile. Move that over a little bit. Uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. And so this molecule is also a chiral. Now, what about the case as I had originally up there? Where your dienophile has two alkyl groups on the end. Now we have the possibility of generating a product with two chirality centers. So what is that going to look like? Well, it turns out that uh, this version of the of the or this in this aspect also the Diels Alder reaction is stereospecific as well. That if the two alk the two I'm sorry, the two methyl groups pointing out are both pointing out. They both end up in the product facing the same direction. Confuse or, or you know, uh, excuse me. Uh, if we had had the case, uh, as unlikely as it seems, where we had uh, the alkyl groups facing inward, they're both facing inward, and they both actually end up facing the same direction in the product. And I'm going to draw them going away from us. But these two are the same product, actually. Uh, both of these compounds are achiral. And so these are the different representations of the same uh, meso compound. Sign the chirality centers if you, you need to. But if we were doing the case where one of our alkyl groups was out and one was in, then we would get uh, differing stereochemistry. And then this molecule is chiral. It has an enantiomer and would form as the racemic mixture. Okay. In the previous video on stereochemistry relating to the dienophile, I promised uh, that I was going to show you uh, how this worked. And so I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to do my best. Actually, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to stop this video here. Uh, no, I'm going to do one more example in this video. I want to do a, a cyclic dienin because this can get a little bit weird. Let's do a cyclic dienin for a minute. Uh, in the case of the cyclic dienin, uh, we actually have uh something else that can happen uh or 
it's worth noting that the outcome is a little bit different. And so I'm drawing this bridged bicyclic structure. And I don't like the initial representation, so give me a moment. Uh, and I'm going to draw the mechanism. So, so I want you to just look at the mechanism here. Because uh, I didn't really draw, in my video on the dienes, I didn't really draw what this looked like. I wanted to save it. Um, but that carbon atom that's still there in the, the cyclic diene, well, none of the sigma bonds are breaking, so it still needs to be there. Uh, a top-down view, perhaps, of this product is, is worth looking at. Um, and so in this case, you could draw the... Um, draw a top-down view that looks like this. And so maybe this is a little bit clearer. Uh, different people like different representations of these bridged bicyclics. But it's still, uh, the homoannular diene, the, the cyclic diene is locked in the S-cis conformation. And so there's still this, these things are both point, this is, well, it's one thing, but it's both inward, so it's facing the same direction. Okay. In the next video, absolutely, I promise I will cover uh, the origins of these stereochemical uh, aspects in relation to the transition state of the reaction. Thank you for watching.